11 11 on 11 11 that's insanely lucky we have to make a wish we do but what is worthy of an 11 11 11 11 wish hmm i mean that's scientifically 100 percent guaranteed to come true uh world peace uh no i hate that idea definitely too obvious to bring up because earlier today you and I were talking and we learned something we have in common which is we're both super into making wishes on 11 11 yeah um, but the problem is we're like really into it take a look hey what's today's date oh today it's uh, uh November 11th oh 11 11 oh yeah and look it's 11 11 wait 11 11 on 11 11 that's insanely lucky. We have to make a wish. We do. But what is worthy of an 11, 11, 11, 11 wish? Hmm? I mean, that's scientifically 100% guaranteed to come true. Uh, world peace? Uh, no, I hate that idea. Definitely too obvious. I guess we could solve global warming. I feel like Greta is already on it. Oh, what about something magical, like, like the first real unicorn? But then think about all the press the unicorn would have to do. She'd never get to, like, just chill and do normal unicorn stuff. We can't put that on her. Yeah, true, you're right. Maybe we can make it more practical. Like, I always thought it'd be really cool if they made socks for hands you mean gloves okay I don't have any big ideas coming from you I wouldn't mind and hear me out looking like Ryan Gosling isn't that kind of a selfish wish though no nah. think how happy people would be if there was a second copy of those baby blues and sexy stubble strutting around I mean I know I'd be more excited to be looking at Ryan Gosling right now so hey, you and me both sister I've always wanted to learn more languages it'd be cool to be fluent in French you can't waste our one wish on learning French just pay for French lessons oh I know but it's so hard to find the time you know I got it we could save the children that's perfect save the children save the children the children Wait, which children? Yeah, I was hoping you knew. I don't know any kids. Do you know some? Well, we only have five more seconds. Come on, wish, wish, wish. Uh, something about paper straws. Ooh, women stuff. The stock market. The bees. Did I already say the unicorn thing? Aw, oh, dang it, it's 11, 12. Oh, we missed our window. It was probably for the best. At least we didn't panic and wish for something dumb and rush last minute, right? <gasps> right? Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, what I need right now is for you to not be mad at me. Sacre bleu. <laughs> we had to wait 12 hours just to wish it back. I don't, I don't know if you remember. I mean, it's, it's a little awkward to bring it up right now, but I was cast in a small role in Euphoria as well. Um, I, do you remember this? Yeah. See, because yeah. when we met today, you thought it was the first time you met. Yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah. the second time we've met. Yeah. Don't worry, it's fine. Because yeah. the thing is, the thing is that week after week I would watch the show and I would just be like a little like oh like I'm not in it again whatever um because how this works like let me break it down for you is you know you can shoot a bunch of scenes and then in Hollywood they can you know cut it in the edit and sometimes you don't make it so I was just like a little shocked because I thought I did great right you did you did yeah it was yeah. A, it was uh it was an interesting choice um yeah, there was choices made yeah I, yeah I made choices there were choices really yeah strong yeah ones. yeah but you know the good news is, is I actually contacted the editor and I got I got some of the footage I got one of the scenes we shot, and I thought that I should show it to them right now because I, I think it's amazing. So let's check it out. This party is such trash. My ex is over there embarrassing himself with nameless hot girls, and I'm standing in this corner looking way too good to not be getting attention right now. Kat, are you even listening? What'd you say? What is going on with you? Nothing. No, you've been weird all week, and you won't stop looking at your phone. Who are you texting? It's no one, just a friend. Oh my god, do you have a boyfriend? Boyfriend? You have a boyfriend? No, I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, boyfriend? Oh, thank god. You know, because you two are always talking about casual SEX, and I actually think it's lit as heck to be in a stable relationship that doesn't go past second base. <laughs> Bridget? Eh. So fun you made it to the party. Well, I actually love parties, yeah, especially on weeknights. Now, I don't feel bad at all, like I'm betraying my parents' trust. <laughs> oh, nice outfit. Thanks, it's new. Oh. Wait, this is designer. No shade, but how are you affording this? It's a gift. Kat, what is going on with you? Come on, we tell each other everything. She's like, quick thing, sorry to interrupt this, but how do you do that thing to your eye with all the diamonds? I just, I keep thinking of my eye, just like, oh, see, it's on my, well, I, I just bedazzled my eyeball. Bedazzle? Come on, you know, like bedazzlers. <laughs> I mean, we're too young to know what that is, what? <laughs> and I totally haven't had this crunchy since 1998. Ew! It's before I was born. <gasps> Same. <laughs> okay, that's it. What do you say we make this night more interesting? Cool. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Thank 
God. I had a falafel on the way over here. And my breath has been a nightmare ever since. You know, because the onions, they put the yogurt, put the olives. Whoa. <laughs> what is it? Listen. What? Hello? Is that a panda? Okay. Yeah, that's just a skittle I found at the bottom of my purse. Thank you so much. That's what I thought as well. Yeah. Well, we're fine. Whatever. I'll catch you guys on the next one. No big deal. Whatever. One of my favorite people, Snoop Dogg, is on the show tonight, yo. He's fun, he's laid back. And if you didn't know this already, he's actually a talented healer who was especially popular with members of our staff earlier today. Anytime someone came to him with a problem, back aches, headaches, anxiety, he had the perfect solution. I guess you could call him Snoop Doc. Take a look. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Dog. I'm Mona. How you doing, Mom? Good, how are you? Sure. Oh my gosh, I... I am so sorry to bother you. I just wanted to ask you for your help on something. I work really hard here. When I go home, I, like, can never fall asleep. And I was wondering if you have something that can help me with that. I normally don't do this, but I'm going to give you some action. This right here, this is good. That's that sour diesel. That's good to help you sleep a little. Get you right, right. Say good night, night. I need some right, right, night, night. Don't tell them when you got it. Thank you, Mr. Snoop Dogg. Right there. Or should I call you Snoop Doc? Call me whatever you want, baby. OK, well. Have a beautiful day. Snoop Doc. What up? I'm Nate, uh, production assistant. How you doing, bro? I'm good, man. Uh, just been having a little bit of pain in my joints lately. Any ideas? Take a green one of these. Green, just green. Just green. You got pain. Just green. Don't say where you got it. Linda from HR. How you doing, Linda? I have cataracts. Put these on real quick. Yeah, I think I need something stronger. Take these. I just need to know how much strength you need. That's 200 cc of that do it fluid. I think I need more. Like, I'm, I think I'm having a flare up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got anxiety. Oh, do you? First of all, I want to give you some of this wedding cake, and then I'm going to give you some of these nuts, because these are some good edible nuts that can help you out with that. Inflammation. I know what you need. Get some of them barbecue chips right there. That's that edible. Take one of these uh, seaweeds right there. That's that do it fluid. Get you a little bit of that popcorn. That's going to bring that inflammation all the way down. Open your hands so I can give you some of these nuts. I'm just not as good at video games as I used to be. You know what it is? I think it's the technology of the games and the way they're making the graphics. So what I think you should do is take this, right? All of it. All of it? Just okay. take it, and before you start Start playing the game, take it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I forgot to get weed before work. So how you gonna go to work? I know, right? Man, here. Oh, thanks, dude. Don't ever do that. Snoop, what thank I'm you telling. so much for being on the show. Appreciate hey, it. Hey, come here. Are you excited? Snoop. Thank you. Listen, uh, everyone keeps calling you Snoop Dogg. What's going on? Uh, I took care of your crew. I made sure that they had to, you know, the do it floor, you know? Wait, are you telling me my entire staff is high right now? You need anxiety, this, that. They all had issues, so I had to take care of them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, come on! <laughs> Disney Plus has basically taken over entertainment. Anybody watching? <laughs> Before, I'd never even heard of Baby Yoda. Now I would die for him. <laughs> and people are getting back into Disney Channel classics. I'm talking stuff like Jesse, The Sweet <laughs> Life of Zack and Cody, <laughs> Wizards of Waverly Place, <laughs> That's So Raven, all the classics. <laughs> And I loved all of these shows. They had so many twists and turns. You never knew what to expect. But not everyone knows about my Disney Channel show. Yeah. The Wizard Twins of Hotel High. <laughs> in it, I played Priya and Pooja, two magical twins who go to high school in a hotel. Let's take a look. Hey, Dorkasaurus. Yeah, you totally missed hotel geography class. Mrs. Bellhall flipped out. She even started to cry. I was busy practicing my spells. I'm this close to figuring out how to make you disappear. <laughs> well, I would say that I'd make you invisible, but you're so unpopular that no one would even notice. <laughs> we do love each other, though. Of course we do. Sisters. Forever. Aww. Look out! Here comes Dakota St. Shrimpton, the most popular girl in our hotel-based school. <laughs> Hello, Priya, Pooja. 
I just thought you two should know that I'm like popular and hate you for unclear reasons. <laughs> also, I'm not secretly a robot disguised as a student at our high school hotel. <laughs> and the hotel is in space. Uh, no duh. That's it. I'm gonna call my genie and wish for him to give you a pimple. Girl! Girl! No fighting in the space halls of hotel school, or I'll have to send all of you to detention, which is inside of a big computer. <laughs> oh, hey, Taz Beamer. <laughs> Our resident jock. Great job in last night's cyberball game. You've certainly turned out to be an athletic young man. Yes, young man. Not the ghost of an old man living in a young man's body. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Dakota, um, <laughs> did anyone ask you out to Hotel Homecoming Megaprom 3000? No, not yet. <laughs> Great, it's a date. We'll do the Charleston all night. <laughs> or, you know, a current day dance. <laughs> Our school's a hotel. But wait, that's the same night as my secret spy mission. <gasps> wait, you're, you're a, a spy? spy? <gasps> but, but I'm, I'm a, a spy. spy. <gasps> uh oh. Uh, don't go there. <laughs> also, I'm a vampire. Is anything as it seems? Are any of you real? Is this hell? Uh, don't go there. <laughs> the Wizard Twins of Hotel High will be right back after these commercials for Capri Pants and Livestrong Bracelets. It was no surprise what happened when my writers found out that Larry was booked on the show. Take a look. Thank you so much for being on the show, by the way. I mean, it's my pleasure. I'm happy to be here. Of course. Oh, Larry, hey, this is one of my writers, Sergio. Oh, hey. Such a big fan, Mr. Wilmore. Thank you. I actually have a TV show idea I'd love to pitch to you. Maybe give you the elevator pitch? Um, uh, yeah, sure. I am a father. I married to a woman. We have a son. What happens? I don't know. We just, uh... Solve mysteries or something? Okay, interesting stuff. You know what I would do? I, I would flesh that out a little bit more. Okay, yeah, thanks. That's great advice. Thank you so much. Oh my God, Larry Wilmore. Hey, Lily. I am obsessed with you. Like, literally, I watch Insecure every single night of my life. I love you. I have a TV pitch. Can I give it to you? Are you ready? Larry, this it's is Breaking Bad meets Shaw's of Sunset. It's called Persian Drugs. It's about a Persian family that lives in LA that has a pharmacy. Um, does your family actually own a pharmacy? No, we sell rugs, but I put a D in front of it because drugs are sexier than rugs. Do you do drugs, Larry? Oh, okay. Personally, uh -huh. I love drugs. Like, right now, I'm on so many Xannies for my Xyades, but I take Addies for Funsies. You know, we have a big show tonight. Why don't we let Larry get in the zone and just <laughs> zip it right up? Zombies. What? Did you say that just because I said flesh? No. I say flesh, dig deep, and that's what I meant. Hey, Lily. Hey. It's gone. Is this your friend Larry you're always talking about? Yes, Larry, this is another one of my writers, Marina. Hi. <laughs> I have a pitch. I think we've heard enough for today. It's about this actress in LA, and she's on this show called Ties. And she meets this guy, and he's royalty, like the Duke of France, and his name is Henry. Anyway, they fall in love and get married, have like a bunch of corgis or babies or corgi babies. And in the end, she pays off all her student loans. Is her name Meghan Markle? Her name is Regan Sparkle. Undertakers. Those guys love to dig. I didn't mean literally dig deeper. I meant take some time to brainstorm. Oh, wow. Larry Wilmore, I got a pitch for you. Hey, Jonathan, I think Larry's well. Heard enough pitches for one day, but yeah. thank you so much. I yeah. really appreciate the hustle. All right, so it's about a black magician. Oh. That actually sounds pretty interesting. And he walks around and yells, to dumb mother... That's the pitch. Storm chasers. It's a family of storm chasers. Sergio, I think you just need to expand your mind. Uranus. Okay. A is not a planet. Everybody out. All the writers out. You have zero chill. Get back to work. Family lives on Uranus. Pluto. Pluto's not even a planet. That is the end of that. It will not happen. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. No it's the end of that. 20 dogs, 20 moms on one island, and they're all looking for love. Let me paint you a picture. Bone Island, working title. Let me know what you think. Oh, my god. Will you cast my dog, Buster? Yes. Love it! Sick! 
Hello, Lily. Dr. Phil, I'm so What's glad up? you're here. Thank you. So it's in the middle of getting my hair done. We're almost done, though. Yeah, well, must be nice. I don't really have that problem. Aw, Dr. Phil, yeah, I guess that's true. You don't really get your hair done. There's really no way to get wild with this hubcap. That's not necessarily true. I'll tell you what, Nathan, why don't you uh, work some of your magic? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, good luck. Hello, Fabio. <laughs> I mean, come on, you look like a total filth. A filth I'd like to bangs? Yeah, why not? You look like you play the ukulele. Dr. Phil? Nah, more like Dr. Sia. Ah! What do you think? Yeah, someone direct us to a chandelier. Come on, she bangs, she bangs. How do you feel? I feel like a poodle whose owner went broke. <sighs> oh, yeah. And I finally got some drapes to go with the carpet. You heard it here first, perms are back. Hey, when will the sun come out? Tomorrow! Tomorrow! This look is more than okay. Just gonna snatch this. Oh, it's attached. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's skip that one. Oh, Phil, my God, are you a secret Kardashian? No, but don't call Ray J. So, what do you think? I think I forgot how hot it is having hair. That's what I think. Yeah, you don't know, forget it. I feel like this is your look, chic, dolphin chic. And it's aerodynamic, right? Yeah, for sure. All right, for screw sure. it. We're gone. Oh, uh, no, hang on. Sorry. I'm using your oh. head as a mirror. Yeah, All right, thanks. go ahead. This is my life. Can you get some window?